Yo, 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 what it do, my people? It's your boy, Mike Easy. Back at you with another exclusive video, man. We back at it. We back at it, babe. Man, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell, man, so y'all stay updated with these videos, man. You know, I get the best takes. I get the most mindful takes and most intelligent takes, man. A lot of these other people just get on here and be booze crapping. But, uh, man, I know y'all done seen it. My boy Charleston White, man. And I'm gonna start by saying Charleston White, I rock with Charleston White. I've been rocking with Charleston White for a long time. I rock with a lot of stuff that he says. He says some crazy stuff sometimes that I don't agree with, man. But for the most part, he be speaking a lot of real truth because he lived it. You know, uh, he lived through it. He been through the boys' home. He tried to join the gang. You know, he grew up in the struggle, man. Hey, I feel like. I like him, man, because I can relate to him for a lot of the stuff that he's been through. We've been through, you know, growing up down here in the South and stuff. And uh, But, man, I tell you, man, Charleston White, he's a character for real, man. He is a real character. And, uh, man, Charleston White, he just went after uh, Gilly the King, man, Gilly the Kid. And, uh, man, he just said some foul stuff, man, that I really don't agree with. And I'm going to play a little video for y'all at the end. You know, so y'all can check it out, man. But anyway, it's basically give y'all a little rundown. I don't agree with what he said, man. We all know Gilly the King from me and dollars worth of game. You know, uh, well, we know Gilly the Kid from back in the day with Cash Money and the Beef with Lil Wayne. Gilly the King, you know, is his later stage in life. He's got the million dollars worth of game with his cousin Wallow, blah, blah, blah. You know, Super Big Podcast that took off and finally gave uh, Gilly a shine. Well... Gilly's son was in the streets of Philly. You know, Gilly's from Philly. He ran in Philly. And I think he was in a little gang, man. Well, he ended up getting, I think, shot and killed last year. Um, he was a rapper in the Mac and Cheese group out of Philly. He had some, he had some dope songs, man. So, RIP to him. But, so, Gilly the King ends up calling Charleston a rat. I guess for, I don't know what specific, you know, reason he called Charleston that. Maybe it was just because of everything Charleston has done about threatening to call the police on people, calling the police on people, uh, doing all the sorts of crazy stuff Charleston White's been doing, if you've been, you know, at least watching a few of Charleston's videos, man. I know you've seen some clips about him. Charleston's a crazy fool, man. I ain't even gonna lie to you. But anyways, so uh, I guess Gilly calls him a rat, and then Charleston, uh, in retaliation to that, he starts talking about Gilly's dead son. And this is where I don't agree with Charleston at, because... He starts talking about Gilly's dead son, about how uh, he shows a little plaque that says dad said his son got it for him, I think, for a Father's Day one time. And he's like, oh, yeah, Gilly, your son can't get you one of these. And then he's like, man, oh, I love my son. Your son got shot in the head. Pow. And like he falls on the floor. And he's like, oh, I'm going to call my son. And it's like, Gilly, you can't call your son. You just got to like pray to Jesus, pray to the Lord uh, to talk to your son. And, uh, man, you know, for somebody that's lost somebody close to you, man, that's a real, that, that's some real pain, man. You know, losing somebody close to you, man, is a real pain. And you never quite really get over it, man. You just learn to live with it. It's the best way I can explain it. Uh, it's just, man, it's, it's a very, it's, it's a touchy situation, man. And I, I think Charleston, he shouldn't have said that, man. And, you know, he never feels bad for what he says. That's one thing about him. He always sticks to his guns. But anyway, so he goes on to say, you know, uh, rest in peace. Act like he's pissing on the boy's grave, whatnot. And it's just, it's just foul, man. Because me, one, I believe in karma. I believe in good karma. I believe in bad karma. I believe you reap what you sow. Um, if you do certain things, it will come back and get you down the road. Me, personally, myself, I've done things. And I maybe not would have believed in that stuff if it didn't happen to me. Like I said... I've done stuff in my life that maybe not, like I've done some stuff, right? And on down the line, that same stuff has happened to me. Multiple times, man, so I'm not just speaking out of my side of my neck. This is from experience. So I do believe in karma. Now, what separates you from uh, something happening like that to you, your son, just uh, maybe they trying to take frustration out on you. Maybe it's some people that don't like you. Or maybe it's somebody that don't like you for what you said or what you've done, blah, blah, blah. And then they take it out on your son because they can't get you. Then how would you feel about the situation? You know what I'm saying? So 
it's like man some things you just you just don't say you just don't do and i feel like this is one thing charleston you know he shouldn't have said man i just felt like it was it was out of the boundaries man you know um no matter if the dude called you a right or not you should have talked about him being a you should have talked about him losing the beef to Lil Wayne or how he can't rap or something like that, man. You didn't go have to talk about the man's dead son. You know, I just felt like that was, I felt like he crossed the line on that situation, man, me personally. Now, like I said, I'm going to play the video for you, let y'all see exactly what he was saying and everything, man. But I, me personally, I think it's foul. But y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all think about Charleston White and this whole situation right here, man. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell to stay locked in with your boy. But, uh, yeah, man, it is what it is, man. But I'm about to play this clip for y'all, man, to the next one. Peace. Hold on. I'm going to call my son. You got to go to the graveyard to see your son. <laughs> say, say, <laughs> say, look, say, look. Say, look, this what my kids give me for Father's Day. Uh, Gilly, say, Gilly, <laughs> cash money backup single. <laughs> say, cash. Money backup singer. I'm sorry, backup dancer. Say, listen, I'm finna call my boy, cause you can't call your. You got to do this. Oh, I miss my son. I don't miss my. I'm finna call mine right now. Hold on, let me call my son. Cause I'm finna do this. Cause Gilly can't call here. He got a unalive boy. His son dead with maggots coming out of his. Let me call my boy. What's up, mijo? What's up, Dan? What you doing? Uh, man, just doing my Okay, you got to go to work today? No, I'm oh. sorry. Okay, well, I'll just call and talk to you. I'll talk to you later. I told you I'm going to Uh, I got to go pick up my merchandise out of Houston today. Oh, uh, okay. So you can, you can be going out of town? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll be back this evening. Is your car, your uh, mom ready to finish with your car yet? Um, oh, okay. Probably two, probably two days. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, well, I'll talk to you later. Okay. All right, love you. Uh, love you too. All right. Okay. <laughs> Say, Gilly, you wouldn't you want to hear your son boy just one more time? But pow, they shot the kid to the cold, daddy. Oh, you didn't get to help him. You too busy trying to play street and gangster, and your son got killed trying to play gangster. Bang, bang, nigga.